The tutorial describes how to create a Code 128 barcode using barcode fonts and the .NET font encoder assembly in a C# -sharp project. The tutorial assumes that the Code 128 font package is downloaded and installed. It also assumes that the .NET font encoder assembly is downloaded and extracted. In this simple demonstration, we will explain how to encode data using text boxes and a button to execute the encoder. The sale version of the .NET assembly is included with the developer version of a 1D barcode font such as the Code128 font package. The assembly is compatible with Visual Studio.NET and works with Framework 1.1 and above. Create a new c -sharp project. Name the project. Add a button to the form. The button will be used to execute the encoder by formatting the data in the first text box and placing it into the second and third text box. Add three labels. Name the labels data to encode, encoded data, and encoded data with barcode font. Add three text boxes. Name the text boxes data to encode, encoded data, and encoded data barcode. To add the assembly as a reference, right click References and select Add Reference. Browse to the location of the .NET assembly and add it to the project. Access the code. Add the .NET assembly using statement. Create an object of the font encoder class.
in the button, set the encoded data text box and the data to encode text box passed to the encoder's 128 function. For code 128, set the first parameter to the data to encode text box. The second parameter, return type, takes an int and is designed for several ID automation return types such as human readable data for code 128. The third parameter, apply tilde, can be set to true or false. When true, functions such as the FNC1, tabs, and carriage returns can be encoded. In this line, we are simply setting the encoded data barcode text box to the encoded data text box. This is to illustrate the three steps of encoding. Inputting the data, encoding the data, and applying the barcode font. In the encoded data barcode, we'll set the barcode font to the encoded data. Set the name of the font. For the demo version of Code 128, use ID Automation SC128L. Since the sale version is installed for this tutorial, set the font to ID Automation C128L. I will set the font size to 18 points. Let's run the project. Enter data into the data to encode text box. Select the encode button. The encoded data text box displays the encoded output. The encoded data with barcode displays the encoded data with the barcode font applied to it. This is a properly created barcode. 